GD is meat in the flesh Top to bottom so freshly dressed Hey everyone, it's been, you know, like two or three weeks since I've made a video. Sorry, I was busy with school and today is finals week and I just finished my first final today and tomorrow I'm off and I don't have a final until like Wednesday. But yeah. <laughs> so this is like the perfect time for an actual gay vlog because during my little three week missing in action whatever um i discovered rupaul's drag race and like it's now my favorite show ever and for those who don't know what rupaul's drag race is it's basically a competition between drag queens to become the greatest superstar drag sensation you know in america and you know they win lots of prizes and cash and it's really, really crazy, and I love it. I don't even know how I found it. I don't even know how I found RuPaul's Drag Race. I mean, I've, I've always heard of it. You know, I, I, I always knew it was a show about drag queens, but I never knew what it was actually about. And um, to be honest, I did not know anything about drag queens before this show. So it was a total learning experience, and now I feel like my eyes have been opened even wider to the gay community and now I have so much respect for like people who do drag because it's really um, serious and you know you gotta have the talent the you know charisma the drive to just do that and dress up as a woman and, and you know some of those guys look really really pretty as women and it's just really amazing to see how creative they can be, you know, making outfits and, you know, being really flexible with different styles. And I feel like my voice, <laughs> my voice is, <clears throat> but yeah, I don't even remember how I even started watching it. Um, I started watching season three, um, maybe like two weeks ago and I watched the whole season and I was a big Manila Luzon fan because obviously she's Filipino and she's awesome and I love her and she's like really really pretty um, you know as a, as a girl but you know I'm actually glad uh, spoilers I'm actually glad that Raja uh, won even though I would have liked it if Manila won but you know I mean Raja just had a different style and it was, she, you know she was just always better I think but you know whatever I still love Manila and I finished season two yesterday and I finished season one like last week. I even downloaded Manila's new single Hot Couture because I like it and that's how much, you know, the whole like show has influenced me like it's just pretty awesome. If you haven't heard of it, um, I'm playing it right now in the background so check it out, buy it. I just wanted to share that. I just wanted to share that I discovered drag and like I, I, I personally would not do it because um, I don't I don't really think it's me but I wouldn't mind like you know going to a show and watching someone do drag or watching RuPaul's Drag Race the fourth season uh, premiering when is it January 30th because apparently I have logo and I did not know that like I'm so like out of it with gay culture it's like not even funny but hey I mean you know this is a start and I'm actually pretty glad I, I found it because it's really fun and I really like the show so much drama and you know just just you know it's, it's just funny and yeah um, I'm really glad I found it did I already say that yeah. Uh, yeah and if you're looking into being a drag or you are a drag then good for you and you know keep on doing what you do cuz that's that's pretty awesome and it takes a lot of balls to dress up as a woman and you know do all that and I'm actually pretty impressed and you know I had you know like I said I knew nothing about drag queens I knew nothing of what they did or why they did it you know I just thought you know oh they just dressed up as women because they want to but you know it's all it's it's much more than that you know it's an art form it's a way of expressing yourself it's a way of 
you know, leaving reality and becoming whoever you want to be. With like the power of makeup, wigs, fashion, music, you know, you become a totally different person, which is pretty awesome because, like, sometimes I want to be a different person, especially when I'm lip syncing. Um, obviously, that's what drag queens do, right? And I, I, I don't know. I just found like so many similarities with myself because I like lip syncing, and you know, it would be nice to perform in front of people, even though like I'm probably not even. The best performer out there but you know it, it seems fun and yeah but I don't think I'm gonna be a drag queen anytime soon but yeah I'm, I'm saying but a lot but but yeah so anyway I will see you guys next time when I upload my fall 2011 playlist part 2 because I need to update you guys on what I was listening to during this and um, now I'm waiting to watch the MTV Iggy performance because to anyone is in New York right now, so I'm gonna be watching that. Hopefully, uh, maybe I'll, you know, record myself my reaction or something. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Merry Christmas, by the way. <laughs> um, yeah, keep a lookout for my lip sync video, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye. I'm gonna go, 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 I'm g